Welcome to Coding Commanders. I'm Commander Candy, and today I'm going to teach you about LAMP Stack. So today we are going to talk about what is a LAMP Stack. Now, before you understand what LAMP Stack is, you're going to have to understand what a software stack is. It's a set of tools that are bundled together and include everything that you need to support an application. LAMP is a popular web application stack. So we're going to use it to build web applications. Okay, so um, web application stacks have to include an operating system, a web server, a database, and a programming language. LAMP is an acronym. The L is for Linux. That's the operating system um, that we're going to use. Apache is the web server software. MySQL is the database. And P is um, PHP, the programming language. If you're unfamiliar with any of those terms, don't worry, I'm about to go through each one individually. Starting with Linux or an operating system. Um, what an operating system does is it manages the interaction between a device's hardware and software. So, um, like on your computer, if you have a PC, you probably have some form of Windows. If you have a Mac, you probably have OS X. It's going to manage the interaction between your computer's hardware and software. And that's what Linux is. It's an operating system. And um, Ubuntu is the flavor of Linux that um, is going to be used by coding commanders. Now you might be wondering why use Linux, right? You probably already have Windows or OS X installed on your computer. So you're probably wondering, why do I need to learn something new? Okay. Um, first of all, Linux is open source. It's free and customizable. What open source means is that the code is just out there, right? So because the code's out there, you're able to, um, manipulate it, you know, change it up and customize Linux to fit um, your needs or desires, which I mean, right now, if you're a noob, you don't want to start off by, you know, messing with the Linux source code. But um, as you move on, get more advanced, there might be reasons why you want to or have to to make, you know, your project um, work the best. It's also reliable. You don't get the viruses and the malware that you get with Windows. I don't have much OS X experience. Um, I'm mainly a PC girl. There's a lot of stuff going on. There's a lot of stuff you can't control for where there might be some kind of setting off on your computer. You never know. There's a lot of one offs like that, right? But when it comes, once we get to the Linux, all you do is you're going to type a command in and then not only is, um, the operating system going to go and find that um, what you're looking to download, but it's going to find all of its dependencies as well. So you don't get those problems that you sometimes get, you know, like when you get a brand new like PC game and you got to download all these patches and drivers. Linux is going to find everything that you need and with one command and install it. The most important reason why you should learn Linux and use Linux if you're going to be a um, any type of programmer is because it's very marketable. Linux is um, an operating system that's part of the Unix family. Most programming is done on some type of Unix family um, operating system. The only exception to that is Microsoft, right? That framework that's Microsoft, Microsoft Windows, Microsoft.net, that um, is the one exception. But the reason why I decided to start my tutorials with LAMP stack is because um, there's a lot of advanced high paid jobs in it and there's also a lot of entry level jobs in it. With C Sharp, if you don't have a bachelor's degree in computer science or programming experience, it's going to be really hard to find that first job. Um, so even if your end goal is to be a C sharp programmer, I would still learn Linux because that might be what's going to, you know, feed your family while you're getting up some experience to get that C sharp job. Also, you never know what opportunities, um, 
are going to await you. Even if you're thinking right now, I want to do C sharp. If you, you know, work hard, you have a good mind for it, and you get good, you're going to have recruiters coming after you. And you'd be surprised how quickly um, recruiters can be attracted to talented programmers. There's some very cool high-level jobs, things like NASA, gaming, things like that, which are going to want you to use a Unix family operating system. So even if you think you want to be a C-sharp programmer, if you get a job, say, making business forms with C-sharp, which is great, you know, it's a great job, but if then NASA comes and tells you they want you to help out with, like, the spaceships, are you going to be like, you know, want to be like, nah, man, I want to do business forms in C-sharp. So you never know what opportunities are going to be there. And the thing is, if you're a C-sharp programmer and you don't know Linux, when that NASA recruiter comes and they find that out, they're going to turn around. Okay, they're, they're going to want people that um, are familiar with some type of Unix family operating system, and Linux is the most popular there. And Apache, um, that's what we're using for our web server software. It is the most popular web server software out there. It's also open source, so it's free, it's customizable, it's reliable, it's fast, and it's secure. So now that you know that Apache is our web server software, you might be wondering, what's a web server? Okay, well, basically what the web server does is it passes information around the internet. It uses um, a set of rules for doing so called HTTP. That's an acronym for the Hypertext Transfer Protocol. That's the rules. And basically um, what happens is so let's say you make a website, okay? It's gonna store the information for your website um, on the server. Then when the um, user of your website or the client types in the, your web address, it's gonna process the request. Then it's gonna retrieve the information from your site and serve that back um, to the client, serve your page. MySQL, that's what we're going to use for our database. MySQL is a relational database management system. It uses SQL, that's structured query language. It's the most common for, um, for databases. It stores um, information um, or the data, same thing, for your um, web application. Um, like, example would be like, say you're building a web development tutorial, um, things like um, paragraphs explaining things that might be in your database, the syntax examples, things like that. So you can retrieve that from your database and um, put it, you know, pass it along to the client side to display. Um, also, another thing you might do is maybe if you're building tutorials, you'll have a test where the user is going to enter in their information, take the test, and then your database might store their information along with their test score, you know, like their name, some sort of identification, ID number, uh, like a, it's called a primary key, usually the <laughs> ID number for it, but um, and then it's going to, you know, store their, their score, uh, maybe their ad, whatever, you know. So it stores you, information that you write and put in there. And also it can capture user input and store it in there for you to use or your application to use. Um, it, it's a relational database. Um, it uses multiple tables. And uh, think of the tables as like... Um, an Excel spreadsheet, you know, there's columns and rows and then cells, and each cell is a data entry. That's pretty much how a table set up. And you're going to define the rules for the relationship between the different data entries. And then MySQL is going to enforce those rules that you write. So the better you do at writing those rules, the better your um, database um, and your app, the better your application will run. It's very important. And also MySQL is open source, like everything else <laughs> that we're using. Almost everything that I'm going to use throughout these 
tutorials is open source. I can't really think of anything off the top of my head I plan on doing that's not. Um, I like open source even when we get into like I'm going to do some game projects. We're going to use open source for I would do tutorials on like editing images. Everything's open source. And then that leads us to PHP. That is the programming language. Um, it's open source as well. It's server side. That means that the code is going to execute on the server, not on the user's computer. It's, um, it's a scripting language, so you don't have to compile it. Um, if you took like C++ or something back in college, you might remember compiling. PHP is not compiled. We're going to use it to communicate with um, MySQL. It can pull you know, information out of the database, and once it has it, it can do all kinds of calculations and manipulations with it. You're going to use PHP to write your, um, the logic for your application. But the logic is, that's the code that actually makes it work. <laughs> that's um, that's going to be the basic, you know, the heartbeat and the brain of your application. Thank you for watching my lamp stack video. On my next video, I'm going to show you how to install Oracle Virtual Box, which is the first step in creating our lamp programming environment. If you have any questions, please comment below. Let me know. Also, I want to start live streaming once a week. I want to get that going within the week. So please comment and let me know if you prefer that I stream on Twitch or YouTube. Um, whatever the majority says is where I will stream. Also, commenting will give you a chance to win a free Coding Commanders t-shirt. Once a week for the next four weeks, I will give one away. Thank you again for watching, and until next time, happy coding!